नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सेशन टेन ऑफ अवर कोर्स ऑन वर्क सिस्टम डिजाइन अवर करंट फोकस इज ऑन प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड टुडे इज द लास्ट सेशन फॉर वीक टू दिस कोर्स इज ऑफ ट्वेल्व वीक्स ड्यूरेशन एंड अवर टारगेट इज टू अंडरस्टैंड द निटी ग्रिटीज एंड एंट्री केस इज ऑफ द टॉपिक वर्क सिस्टम डिजाइन वाई प्रोडक्टिविटी इज इंपॉर्टेंट इन वर्क सिस्टम डिजाइन वी मस्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट whatever work is being done maybe i am recording this lecture today this is also a work which is being done now that we must be productive in each and every task that we are undertaking now suppose i am recording this lecture if a 30 hours uh, 30 minute slot or half an hour slot is allocated for this recording purpose i must try to optimally utilize this time that is the input in order to convert it into a tangible output that is the final recording of the video or the final data which is having the video lecture so basically everywhere this word productivity is important now suppose i am going to teach in a class it is a classroom lecture in classroom lecture if 55 minutes is assigned to me i must try to make use of these those 55 minutes to cover the topic that has been assigned for that particular lecture so i will be productive now suppose that i am not able to cover the topic in 55 minutes i may have to stretch to some other lecture or maybe in a next lecture i will have to complete the topic and therefore the syllabus may get delayed so the productivity is not important from theoretical point of view that we are discussing in our uh, sessions but it is also important from the practicality point of view and if you remember in session 9 our total target our complete target our focus was on trying to highlight some numerical problems or some practical problems in which we can use the concepts of productivity and try to improve our productivity by adapting to various productivity improvement techniques now what are the various productivity and improvement techniques that we have already covered as i believe in session 8 and we have seen that if we focus on the key factors affecting productivity we can certainly improve our productivity now what are the various stakeholders when we are converting the raw materials into the final product there is material there is process there is technology there are people there are we can say other tangible inputs there it can be money it can be the workforce so different tangible inputs if we are able to focus on as well as focus on our output and try to improve optimally utilize our resources there will be a positive effect on the productivity and in today's session our target primarily is to understand that how we can improve the productivity so the case studies that we are going to discuss today will help us to understand that how the productivity has increased for various organizations when they have employed the basic concepts of productivity improvement in terms of change in technology in terms of change in design in terms of employee morale in terms of employee motivation so quickly we will try to understand that various case study which has led to productivity improvement and if you go back in our discussion we have already discussed that there are various measures of productivity like labor productivity we have different labor productivity is one example of partial productivity so we can have a partial productivity measure we can have a total factor productivity measure total productivity measure multi factor productivity measures so different types of measures are there which can be used to calculate the productivity of an individual or of a system or of a company or of an organization so we will see that how different factors or different measures of productivity can be used to calculate the productivity and in different scenarios how the productivity can be improved now let us quickly move forward this is one example of very famous company walmart improves improves its productivity by increasing efficiency 
so we will see in the end today i will try to because we have to close our discussion on this topic productivity because it is year marked for the first two weeks only i will just try to differentiate with the help of a common joke between efficiency and productivity towards the end of today's session but let us first see that how the productivity is improving by increasing the efficiency so on your screen you can see that use of electronic data interchange so this is adopting to the new technology so we have seen that there are different ways in which we can improve the productivity and one of the important ways is the use of the latest technology so if we use the latest technology our productivity can increase so here we see in the conventional process which is being followed there are maybe five steps of data exchange or data interchange so using the new technology that is the edi process we can improve this electronic data exchange and there can be a direct data exchange between the two places so using the technology the productivity has improved so maybe the time which was as an input in case of a uh, normal conventional paper process the time has reduced so time has reduced which means the productivity has increased because the input has reduced so output because it is inversely proportional to the productivity if you remember productivity is equal to output by input so input if we are able to somehow manipulate the input in a way so that the productivity increase increases this is one of one such example where we are minimizing the time required for the data interchange by the adoption of technology so the walmart has adopted this technology so the second point is Google improves its productivity by motivating the employees. So, first parameter or improvement technique which Walmart has adopted is adopting the or switching over to a new technology. So, technology is one important keyword in improving the tech in, in in improving the productivity and efficiency. Then the second important we can say focus area can be the employees of an organization as i have highlighted two three times earlier also that it is the employees or the people or men or women who are really responsible for the success of an organization so google improves its productivity by motivating the employees now what are the various maybe focus area or how they have been able to do this by giving the fringe benefits to the employees by and ensuring medical insurance body care services maybe there can be a gym local gym inside the office or there can be other body care uh, facilities provided inside the office then entertainment services and the household services there can be a kind of a crutch for the children who are young who are not going to school and the parents can work and the children can be put in a crutch those kinds of facilities so if you are able to make your employees happy if you are able to take care of the issues challenges of your employees then the employees will certainly feel associated they will have a feeling of belongingness with the organization and will definitely work put their heart and soul for the success of the organization so two examples we have seen in one example technology has helped to improve the productivity and efficiency second example the motivation and morale of the employees have helped to improve the productivity of an organization now let us see another example or a case study of gea 16092 aluminum sheet a product of journal electric so let us see that how the process change has helped to improve the productivity of the organization so we have seen two examples in first case it is a technology or a electronic data interchange which has helped edi to improve the productivity the second case was how the employee morale has helped to improve the productivity now let us see how the process change has tried to or helped the company to improve the productivity now what is the background for this case study general electric energy a leading manufacturer of common alloy aluminum sheet from recycled metal with advanced technology the name of the company is given the name of the product is also given it is a common alloy aluminum sheet 
it provides a variety of alloys and products for diverse industries including metal distribution transportation building and construction which shows that this product has got wide application so the uh, maybe the volume of production is bound to be large now it was at this us facility that the company began experiencing a number of product returns due to off flat material so now there is a problem with the company that the material is being returned by the customers why the reason is also identified the reason is of flat material that is the quality of the material is not good so why with these three points we can conclude that it is a well known company the volume of production is large and the now there is an issue that the material is being returned because of a specific issue that is of flat material now what the company has to do that is you can say one of the major advantages of the big companies of the well known companies of the branded companies that they adapt to the change quite quickly and try to find out the figure in order to satisfy the customer so they want to improve the productivity and remove this defect or the off flat material problem which has arisen now which has taken place now the aluminum manufacturer identified a need to increase the productivity of their tension level line and to reduce the number of off flat returns from their customer so the remedy was also quickly found out that the tension level line has to be taken into account and to increase the productivity they have to focus on their tension level line so this is uh, on your screen common alloy aluminum sheet which is the product of the company now what is the proposal to rectify the problem now i think all of you have understood that what is the problem now what is the common uh, area where they need to focus what is the proposal to rectify the problem g proposed process improvements and a controls upgrade that could increase line speed improve reliability we can see what is the focus increase line speed that is one improve reliability second it will lead to increase in profitability third it will reduce the scrap which is also going to lead to the profitability and improve the drive systems limited diagnostics that is they want to keep a regular check on the complete drive system so they want to diagnose the issues and fix them as quickly as possible now if you see that the process improvement is the target of the company now they proposed a process improvement and the control upgrade because if you remember maybe if you uh, have studied engineering or if you have studied management control is an important parameter which affects the quality of the product now whenever there is a process you are producing a product you need to keep a check on the quality how you will check that by exercising control it can be online control system or it can be offline control system you can be checking the quality while the product is being manufactured or you can check the quality once the product has finally been stored in the warehouse so there can be different policies of the companies for for maintaining or for checking or for inspecting the quality of their product so here the company also wants to focus on the diagnostics so that they are able to identify the problems and rectify it as quickly as possible so while once again this is important this is a focus area because even we are able to improve the reliability we are able to increase the line speed we are able to reduce the scrap we are able to identify the problems and rectify them quickly all these steps are going to improve the overall productivity of our organization and that has happened in this case also so ge proposed process improvements so they focused on the process of making these sheets and a control upgrade so they they focused on the process they focused on the control mechanism also and then it led to whatever improvements i have already highlighted and underlined on the screen the original need to increase the productivity resulted in wide range process improvements for higher profitability so the need of diagnosing the need of improving the process led to profitability it also led to the extending the life cycle of the 
plant as well as it also led to the reducing the maintenance required to keep the plant up and running. So, these were the additional benefits of process improvements and upgrade in the control diagnostics. Now, what were the attempts to rectify the problem? We have seen that there was a problem of uh, of flat material. Now, that was taken care of by changing the process, improving the diagnostic system or the control diagnostic system. Now, upgraded controls and improved diagnostic, upgraded analog control to digital controller platform. So, first change which was uh, put into action was from analog control system, it was shifted to the digital control system which seems to be a better option. Then reduced the electrical maintenance, improved operator setup and line diagnostics. So, this is the from the control and diagnostic point of view these steps were taken. Then increased the tension level line productivity. So, line speed as already told was increased by 50 percent, decreased scrap due to off flat material because now we have already improved our diagnostic system, line speed has been increased. So, off flat material also got reduced 50 percent improvement was seen and the material requirement was also reduced by 129 feet per coil. So, I have shown the coils in the uh, one of the figures in today's session today aluminum big aluminum rolls of coil. Now, what were the results? Now, let us quickly see. So, the increased yield, tension level line speed was increased by 50 percent, allowing the number of aluminum coils produced to rise from 17 to 20 coils per shift. So, per shift earlier with the current method, they were able to produce 17. Now, they are able to produce with the change in the process, change in the line speed, change in the diagnostics, they were able to produce 20 coils per shift. This resulted in a total increase of 3000 coils per year and the profit was $1.3 million. So, we can see that whatever little change we introduce in the process, daily there is an improvement and if we multiply it over the number of working days in a year, the improvements are large, the improvements are quite noteworthy, the improvements are substantial. So, here also the substantial improvement of $1.3 million was observed by changing the process. Now, increased productivity. G's new strip transport technology included auto pay of real stop and digital elongation control yielding material savings of 120 feet per coil for additional savings of dollar 2 lakhs. You can see another improvement is there. So, what were the two important technological changes? I believe that all uh, of you may not have an engineering background, but maybe just to explain what was done, two important things are done here. It also the, this is a this is a name of the technology, strip transport technology. It included two things. It included auto pay of real stop. This is one ch major change. And the second change is digital elongation control. This is our second change. So these are the two important changes which were introduced, and it led to maybe those who do not have an engineering background can just keep maybe a black box there are some process improvements there but those process improvements have led to increase in the material saving 120 feet per coil and it also led to substantial monetary savings so we can see that by adopting to a new technology, by changing the way the process is being conducted, by changing the adopting to the auto pay off real stop. So, maybe there has to re auto automatically the reel will stop, then the digital elongation control that is the elongation of our sheet that is controlled now digitally, maybe earlier it was controlled using a analog method. So, analog method may be less sensitive, may be less accurate or precise as compared to the digital control system and therefore, it led to the improvement in the material usage and the savings of 120 feet per coil was saved. So, technically also if we can understand that, that the changing from analog to digital and using a automatic stop system, the material was saved, it led to the overall savings for the organization. So, one thing we can conclude from this case study is that if we change the process, we change the way the work is being done, automatically it will lead to improvement in the productivity. Now, let us see the last 
improvement that was seen we have seen the results are beneficial if you see the two summaries here increase in yield is the first benefit maybe a benefit a increased productivity is benefit b and if you see the third benefit is the increased quality of the or improved quality of the product that we are producing the new process greatly improved the quality of the end product resulting in fewer customer complaints returns and business that otherwise might have been lost due to off flat material so the off flat material was the problem area now improved by changing the process by improving the control diagnostics by putting a new technology in place so the summary of this case study is that if we have a problem we must focus on that what is the reason for the problem we must be ready to change as in this case the company adopted a new technology a new process uh, and it was able or modifications in the process were in incorporated and it led to the improvement in the yield improvement in the productivity improvement in the quality and overall may be profitability of the organization so let's take another case study now this is a case study on design of a thermal gun sight reticle in a us tank this is from a book buthroyd duhurst and knight 1994 very good book on design for manufacturing and assembly so from there we have taken this case study now here we can see this is the original design for a thermal gun sight reticle in a us tank made by texas instrument dotting so this is one thing there are large number of fasteners here you can see a large number of fasteners this is maybe you can see a combination of fasteners here these are all the fasteners here also and we can see that it will require a lot of assembly operations lot of time will be spent and there are so many parts individually they have to be manufactured can we do something how we can improve the productivity of manufacturing this particular gun sight reticle now some design thinking has to go so what we can do we can try to redesign it by minimizing the requirement for the fastener so you can see this is the redesigned thermal gun sight reticle which is simpler to assemble and less to go wrong there are less chances of assembling it in a wrong manner whereas in the previous case we can see there are chances that we may go wrong during the assembly operation now by redesigning this thing what benefits we have got how our productivity has improved that we can try to understand that if we redesign it what are the advantages now this is you can see on your screen this is the original data now this is with the redesign and this is showing the improvement in the percentage so if you see the assembly time for the original in hours was 2 hours and 15 2.15 hours and here the redesigned part 0.33 hours only so you can see 84.7% improvement in the assembly time number of different parts earlier were 24 in the redesigned part only 8 total number of parts this is the number of different parts one part may be used in three numbers also so maybe the total number of parts will be more so in case of original design it was 47 but in the redesigned part there are 12 parts only total number of operations which is very important to gauge the productivity of the assembly operations it was 58 total number of operations whereas in redesigned there are 13 operations only which are required which are required to make this part metal fabrication time 12.63 hours whereas now it has been reduced significantly by 71.1% to 3. 65 hours and the weight also has been reduced by 45% so if you see the redesigned part has led to substantial improvement in the way we are producing the product and the way we are assembling the product and the weight has also reduced without affecting the performance and quality or the functions of the product and if you see the percentages there is a lot of percentage improvement also so what we can conclude from here now we can conclude that if we redesign the part if we change the design of the part still we can improve the productivity of our work so by changing the design of the part 
we can see that the total number of parts are less the assembly time is less the weight is less the metal fabrication time is less so the redesign of the product has also led to the significant improvements in the productivity of the manufacturing or manufacturing process for that product so today by now we have taken three or four case studies now what are these case studies focused on one case study is focused on the electronic data interchange where the technology has played a significant role in reducing the time used for the current process the second was the google case study where the employees are the focus because employees are the main stakeholders who are working for the organization so there are two major focus thrust areas the technology and the employees in case study of google google has tried to uh, maybe keep the employees in high morale and motivation by giving them many benefits so that they feel concerned they feel a sense of belongingness for the organization so that was the second case study in third case study we have seen the change in the process we have seen that in ge there was a problem of off flat material so the change in the process was incorporated the diagnostics were improved the line speed was increased so the process was worked upon and the results were the increased productivity increased yield as well as increased quality in the fourth case study the design of the product has been changed in order to reduce the time required for fabrication of the product the time required for assembly of the product led to the decrease in the weight of the product significantly it will reduce the cost of the product also so the fourth uh, you can say case studies focused on the design aspects in improving the productivity of an organization so we have taken four different ways in which the productivity of an organization can be improved and in the end quickly i have just uh, Uh, there can be a doubt among the learners that how if we are able to increase our production maybe today we are producing 10 parts if tomorrow we start producing 20 parts our productivity has improved no i have already differentiate differentiated between the productivity and performance but we want to close this discussion on productivity by taking very simple examples to differentiate between productivity and we can say the other thing is the increase in production so increase in production or production improvement does not necessarily mean productivity improvement so this is this production improvement does not necessarily mean productivity improvement so production improvement can be increase in production we are producing more number of parts but that does not necessarily mean that productivity has also improved let us take an example now suppose a bank processed 1000 checks yesterday using 20 hours of labor so the output is 1000 checks and the input is 20 hours of labor now let's say that the same bank processed 1200 checks today using 24 hours so maybe we have to compare now in one case a bank has processed 1000 checks in the other case the bank has processed 1200 checks the definitely the number of checks issued is more by a difference between 1200 and 1000 that is 200 checks extra have been issued but the time required for issuing these checks have also increased earlier 1000 checks were issued in 20 hours 1200 checks are issued in 20 4 hours so 4 hours of extra labor has been put to issue the additional 200 checks so now let's see what we can conclude conclude from here production has increased by 20% so now from 1000 we are now issuing 1200 checks from 1000 to 
checks. However, the labor productive for this operation is unchanged because earlier how we can using the partial measures of productivity or partial productivity measures, we can calculate the labor productivity by dividing the output by the input man hours. So, what is the output? 1000 checks is the output, 200 is the in, oh, sorry, the input is 20 hours or 20 labor hours. So, 1000 divided by 20 is equal to 50 checks per hour yesterday and maybe now today 1200 divided by 24. So, that is equal to 50 checks per labor hour today. So, although the production has increased or the issuance of checks has increased by 200, but the productivity has not increased because the input also simultaneously has increased by 4 labor hours. So, we can very easily conclude that increase in production or increase in the output does not necessarily mean that the productivity has increased. Therefore, we need to focus on our input as well. So, now let us easily conclude this uh, session on our uh, topic productivity by taking this very very simple example. So, if on your screen maybe you can see this is another important uh, thing that we need to understand that efficiency improvement does not guarantee productivity improvement. In previous case, we have seen production improvement, increase in product production does not guarantee increase in productivity. Similarly, increase in efficiency does not guarantee increase in productivity. So, we can see increase in efficiency, uh, 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 let us try to understand this with the simple example. For example, suppose a doctor amputates a patient's leg in half the usual time and boasts of the nurses, I have been twice as efficient as in the past. So, I think all of you may have understood this. Now, he, he takes suppose maybe one hour to amputate a leg in normal conditions. So, today he has been able to amputate the leg in half an hour only. Earlier he takes one hour, now he has done it in half an hour only. So, he says that I am more efficient. How? Because I have done the operation in half an hour. So, this is the one thing. I have twice as efficient as in the past. The nurses who view the situation say something differently. What a disaster! The doctor amputated the wrong leg. So, maybe he may have been efficient, but we cannot say that he is effective, he is productive. So, because the output that he has produced is not the what not the you can say desired output. Here the doctor's effectiveness was 0 because he did not achieve the relevant goal even though his efficiency improved by 200 percent. So, we can say that the, although the target was clearly defined, the doctor was not able to meet the target although he was efficient. So, basically what we can try to take home from this discussion is that we, we must be very, very careful when we are emphasizing on the word productivity. So, productivity is different from efficiency, productivity is different from production improvement, productivity is different from performance. So, basically we must focus on the word productivity, we must understand the various factors that influence the productivity, we must also take into account the various causes that lead to decrease in the productivity, we must keep in mind the various productivity improvement techniques and we must be very, very clear in our mind that what exactly productivity means and what exactly represents the improvement in the productivity. We must not be led by such type of hilarious situations where a person may boast of being productive, but actually he or she is not. With this, we conclude our discussion on the topic productivity. We have spent approximately 5 hours on this topic productivity. 2 weeks of our discussion is over. We will start a fresh week and the topic will be work study. So, now we will see that productivity improvement is important and in case of various situations, various scenarios, various uh, particular cases, 
how we should design our work, how we should motivate our employees, how we should adopt the technology, how we must change the designs so that the productivity of our work, productivity of our system, productivity of our process, productivity of our employees improves for the betterment of the society as well as for the betterment of our nation. So, with this we conclude the today's session. Thank you.